Hi guys. So our discussion this week is about journalistic writing to advance our own writing career. Um, on the Writer's Work website, um, which I shared in the resource um, forum discussion, um, they dis they mentioned blogging, write interesting blogs for brands all over the country. Blog about the topics that interest you the most. Now, um, going off of what Jessica had said in her written announcement about um, uh, bloggers, influencers, and social media mavens have a head start, blogging in this day and age, I believe, is a part, uh, a form of journalistic writing. Um, and... What I mean, um, for example, say you've got a milk company that is the product and they want you to write an interesting article that's going to be clickbait. They're really just trying to sell milk, their milk, uh, their, you know, filtered special milk. And they want, but you, they want you to write something that people will click on so that they're getting their ads for their milk out. But what are we really talking about? Blog about topics that interest you. I came across, and I'll post the picture below, this, <laughs> this is when you tell me we need milk, not here. Um, I love that because I would blog about a top, I would blog about this because my script automatically is genderized that mom, not dad's job is to buy milk and mom got blamed that there was no milk because mom didn't get told they were running out of milk. My script is the blame game, but maybe that's not what it is. Maybe mom went to use the milk, didn't have enough and said, this is when you tell me we need more so that I have enough for me. Like maybe nobody was blaming mom at all, but see my script is about blame. I would write a whole personal essay on <laughs> the blame game in households. Who didn't do this? Who didn't tell me this? Whose fault is that? Why is it anyone's fault in the first place? This is a great blog topic about milk. So I don't know if that's a form of journalistic writing, but um, that Writer's Work website mentioned blogging for products as a form of, you know, way to get paid for freelance work. And I don't know if their website is all bogus. Like I have an I mean, I shared it as a resource, but I didn't actually investigate whether at the end they expect you to pay for leads or something. So like if it's a bogus website, my apologies, but I, it, they advertise to me, start your freelance career today. So I thought I would share it with you guys. But I just wanted to share that, you know, a pro blogging about a product could actually be blogging about our scripts from childhood and gender issues. And it can be very interesting blog topics. So anyhow, there you go.